dear students in today's class i teach you very important c program that is to implement bubble sort technique this program is there for computer programming lab also that is within part b l1 program if you understand this program it helps you for lab examination as well as for vtu theory main examination also other than these two advantages you get knowledge also then what is this program you need to write one c program to implement bubble sort technique i hope everyone knows what do you mean by sort arranging the things in an order is called as sorting usually we arrange the values or alphabet in ascending or descending order and in our everyday routine life we find many applications whichever we use for sorting take your mobile phone only whenever you add new contact into your new mobile phone or in your cell phone automatically the added contact will be sorted we get those names first those begins with the letter a next b next c how that sorting will be done by a mobile because of some programs inside being a computer science and engineering student you need to know how to write such programs that's why i explain you this program how to sort values n number of techniques are there merge sort is there quick sort is there heap sort is there but i teach you very simple technique called bubble sort technique see the expected output whenever we run the program or the software that software will ask you to enter the value of n that means how many values you want to enter five enter any five values that program is reading five values enter any five values in any order those values will be stored in an array and those values will be displayed as it is in the same order entered by you that is what we call before sorting then program will sort program will arrange the numbers in ascending order and it is showing back on the terminal after sorting we are getting the values back on terminal before sorting as well as after sorting but how to arrange these values in ascending order we use bubble sort technique that technique i explain to you first okay see here let us assume that you entered five values 5 4 3 2 1 5, where these values will be stored in an array where the five will be stored in a of 0 second number within a of 1 a of 2 a of 3 and a of 4 how do you arrange these values in an order you are not arranging you are telling the machine to arrange these values in ascending order then which technique do you use one simple technique we use what is that do you know we compare two consecutive values i compare these two then these two then these two then these two consecutive values i compare first i compare 5 and 4 whether 5 is greater than 4 yes you have to interchange these values if the first value is greater than the next value you have to interchange 5 is greater than 4 yes interchange how to interchange the values already you know the logic how to interchange the contents of two variables in temporary variable we take the first value temporary variable equals to first value first value equals to second value second value equals to temp this is what the logic already we know we take the first value in temporary variable in the first variable we store the second variable's contents in the second variable's contents we store the temp this is what how to interchange in our case whether 5 is greater than 4 yes you have to interchange no you have to take temp equals to 5 you have to take temp equals to 5 where is 5 in a of 0 then a of 0 equals to a of 1 5 is greater than 4 yes you have to interchange that one i am doing here Temp equals to five. A of zero equals to A of one. 
means a of 0 equals to a of 1 means I have taken 4 here then uh, a of 1 equals to temp a of 1 what is there in temp 5 what happened values are interchanged 5 is greater than 4 yes you have to interchange ok here 4 comes here 5 comes 5 is greater than 3 yes here 3 comes here 5 comes 5 is greater than 2 yes here 2 comes here 5 comes 5 is greater than 1 yes here 1 comes here 5 comes what we did we moved the largest value at the bottom we have moved the largest value at the bottom we won't use this value for further comparison we block it ok what I did if first number is greater than next number we have interchanged temp equals to first first equals to next next equals to temp a of j means a of 0 a of j means what a of 0 a of 0 plus 1 means a of 1. If a of 0 is greater than a of 1, if a of 0 is greater than a of 1, temp equals to a of 0, a of 0 equals to a of 1, a of 1 equals to temp. Same code has been used in the program. See here. If the first value is more than the next one, temp equals to first, temp equals to a of j, a of j equals to a of j plus 1, a of j plus 1 equals to temp. At what time we interchange the values, if the previous value is more than the next value, then only interchange, otherwise don't interchange. Like this what I did, I moved the largest value at the bottom. This is first iteration is over. How many values are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. First time 5 values. How many comparisons we did? First comparison, second comparison, okay, first comparison, okay. Then uh, second comparison, then uh, third comparison, then four comparison. If five values are there, four comparison. First iteration is over. Next, again I do, I repeat it. Four is greater than three. Yes, you have to interchange. You have to interchange. Means four here, three comes. Here, four comes. Four is greater than two. Yes, that means here two comes, here four comes. Four is greater than one. Yes, here one comes, here four means block it, don't use it for further comparison, we have blocked two values, now three values are there, how many comparisons you have to do, two comparisons, three is greater than two, s, interchange, two comes here, three comes here, three is greater than one, s, one comes here, three comes here, ok, four, don't use it for further comparison, block it, ok, now two values, how many comparisons, one comparison, two is greater than one, s, one comes here, two comes here, what happened? We have arranged all the values in ascending order. This technique is called as bubble sort technique. Because every time largest value will be blocked at, blocked at the bottom. Lowest value moves up. In the water also bubble moves up because of lower weight. If you put the pebble inside it moves down because of higher weight. Because of this technique this is called as bubble sort technique. This technique is also called as sinking sort. Because the largest value we are moving down, at the same time lowest value is coming up. Because of this reason, this is called as bubble sort technique or sinking sort technique. I hope you have understood. Very good. If you have any doubts, please ask at any time. I come back to program. Now you understand the program so easily. First of all, think how many variables we need. We need n variables so that we can store the entire value of n. We need one array of maximum size. So working with array means we need i for index value. Not only i, we need j also. Because we are using nested loop. Within a loop, we use one more loop. That's why we need i as well as j variable. We need i as well as j variable. And we need one temporary variable so that you can interchange. That means to write this program, we need one integer variable. i and j is for i is for outer loop, j is for inner loop, temp is for interchange one array of maximum size. See here, in t of some size, n, i, j, temp. Read the n. Assume that entered value of n by me is 5. That 5 will be stored here. Enter 5 values. Ok. Assume that I entered 5 values like this. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Where these values will be stored? Just only I explain it is that. First time the values entered by me was 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. These values will be stored. Means, uh, we have stored the values. 
means first time a of 0, a of 2, a of 1, a of 2, a of 3, a of 4. You have to print those values as it is before sorting. Means I am printing the values back. Just I printed the message before sorting. The values are printed as it is. Once you read and store, once you print the values as it is, very important code is this. Because of this code only sorting takes place. Just only explain it this logic. If a of j is greater than a of j plus 1. Temp equals to first, first equals to next, next equals to temp. How many times we compare? How many times we compare n minus i minus 1? Every time one comparison will be reduced. Every time one comparison will be reduced. See, first see the outer loop. i equals 0, i less than n, i plus plus. Means how many times this for works? 5 times. 0 less than 5? Yes. 1 less than 5? Yes. 2 less than 5? Yes. 3 less than 5? Yes. 4 less than 5? Yes. 5 less than 5? No. Means this entire inner for works for 5 times. First time it works for how many times? n is how much? 5. 5 minus 0. i is for the first time 0. 5 minus 0, 5. 5 minus 1, 4. First time 5 values, how many comparisons? 4 comparisons. As I told you already, 5, com five values means 4 comparisons. 4 values means 3 comparisons. 3 values means 2 comparisons. 2 values means 1 comparison. Every time 1 value we reduce. That's why n minus i minus 1. I hope you have understood. Because of this code, sorting takes place in computer's memory. Now in the same array elements, sorted values are there. We are printing back on the terminal. After sorting, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 values are there. I hope you have understood. Otherwise, watch this video slowly once again. Definitely you understand. Otherwise, ask me questions. I am ready to help you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Take care. I hope you have understood. This is very simple program. Just one uh, array of maximum size, one n variable, one i, one j, one temp. Then we read the n and enter 5 values. We are reading 5 values and we store inside a of 0, a of 1, a of 2, a of 3, a of 4. We print those values as it is before sorting. Because of this nested for and if sorting takes place. Very simple one. Outer works for n times. Inner works for every time n minus i minus 1. Every time one uh, reduction will be there in the repetitive process. And uh, if the first value is greater than next one. Temp equals to first. First equals to next. Next equals to temp. Only if first is more than second. Otherwise no. Because of this code sorting takes place. After sorting we are printing the values back. This program is really very simple program. Please uh, watch the video once again. You understand. Enter n. This is what the output. I explained it with the logic also. I hope you have understood. Thank you. Have a nice day. Take care. If you have any doubts at any time, please contact. Thank you. Have a nice day. Take care.